Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's uh, been a while since I've posted a video. I thought I would throw one up and show you guys something I've been working on and just playing with. Um, I've got a new toroid that's about two and a half inches thick. I've been playing with different windings and uh, experimenting with and I've come up with something kind of interesting that I'd share with you and I uh, did actually document a little bit of it uh, on a really poor diagram that you're more than welcome to have a quick look at just to understand what I'm actually doing here. Um, as you can see, I've got meter one over here. Meter one is hooked up to the battery charger and then to um, the PWM uh, to show the power input to the PWM. The PWM is then hooked up to the large coil, which is right here and then that large coil goes into a winding which is right here um, around the toroid and that is a double winding of two different size thickness of magnet wire um, anyways when it's all said and done there is this LED that I have hooked up and it is fairly bright. There's definitely some good power coming out of there uh, But as you can see there is absolutely nothing going into the circuit um, So I would assume it's resonating um, This meter here I have actually hooked up across um, the LED light and it's showing some voltage there. I'm not exactly sure what it's measuring if that but it is across the light um, again, there's nothing coming into the system, and I'll quickly just kind of back up and kind of show you. As always, it's a little messy. That's why I, I drew it out for you guys. Um, that's basically it. The power is coming out of the PWM with frequency control. There's then going into the large um, uh, single wound coil, and then out of that... Um, it goes into the first winding and the first winding is actually not connected to the negative surprisingly the act the second winding on the opposite side coming out is connected to the negative that goes back into the system um, so in a nutshell those windings are not touching each other and the positive and the negative are not hooked up on the same winding um, so that's basically it. There it is. Here's the drawing. I initially had a couple of caps hooked up to the LED. It didn't seem to make a difference, so I took those out. But yeah, it's just uh, continuously lit. Pretty bright. And I've tested it a bunch of times, and I don't seem to see a, uh, any sort of uh, input on this with the meters I have anyways. I'm going to do some more experimentation.